Nigerian cleric Joshua Iginla has taken some preachers to the cleaners for attacking Ibed Angel in the Gold Mafia documentary by Al Jazeera. He said it was condemnable to have other preachers criticizing Ibed Angel in the Gold Mafia scandal. All these men of God who climb their altar criticizing all preacher. Everybody is not a real man of God. I look at them sometimes. I don't, I don't know. I don't know where they are coming from. Which planet they belong to? You that was a drunkard before. You that was humanizing before. That the blood washed you. That you are even still committing sin. And you are using righteousness message attacking people to cover up. You are not allowing the blood to do this. You, are not, you didn't die for us. And you, your blood cannot wash us clean. You did not pay the price. You have no right to judge the people that Jesus died. Mercy and grace is still open. As long as he has not come, I am the one he died for. And you hearing me, he died for you. Don't let any man of God make you feel that your sin cannot be washed by the blood. The blood is available to wash. We are not called to be judgment officer. We are called to be instrument of salvation to win soul for Christ. Not to condemn them, to show them the way to Christ. We were once like them. If I see a preacher condemning people, I know he doesn't know the value of salvation. Pastor Abel Damina descended strongly on Ibed Angel recently for his role in the Al Jazeera Gold Mafia documentary. I stumbled on a video where one particular man of God was shouting, any man of God that tells you that there's nothing like miracle money, he doesn't have power. He doesn't know what he's talking about. Na, 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 na. Just this week, Al Jazeera have done a documentary on him. He is in a fraudulent business for his country where they have siphoned the money of their country. So he was stealing the money of his country and calling it miracle money. Now they have caught it. Let him go and climb pulpit again. Any man of God has a miracle money. Thief only. Prophet Joel Okebe also took a swipe at Uber Angel after he had attacked his spiritual father, Apostle Aramil Sai. A preacher was attacking me and my father-in-law recently. And what he was called, he said, we are small boys. We don't have house. We don't have this. Since when did that thing now become the... We are watching Al Jazeera, sir. We are watching. May God give you understanding. <laughs> I don't have a house. I, someone that is supposed to be an elder, an elder should know how to speak. An elder. Pastor Ingilla said, No man of God had a right to eternal life and must therefore desist from condemning others. Do you know where you are going to end? You talking. Do you know where you are going to end? Salvation is personal. Face your front. I dare you, any preacher in the world, you have no right to condemn another preacher. You don't own the book to eternal life. You did not share your blood for us. You have no right to question me about my salvation because my salvation and my price was not paid by you. It was paid by Christ. This is one of the problems of the body of Christ. You call us fake. We that you call fake, we get prophecy that was accurate. Those of you who call yourself right, you can see your prophecy. May God help you all.